everybody, welcome to the Sky Lounge here to review some Lakers action as I completely neglected the fact that the Lakers had a preseason game. Whoop they fucking do. Uh, the Lakers lose to the Clippers. 103 to 87. Now, boys and girls, I always want to remind you here on the channel that there is only one basketball team in Los Angeles, and it is called the Los Angeles Lakers. If you think the Clippers actually exist in Los Angeles, you are wrong. These fucking nobodies don't belong anywhere. Maybe Buffalo, where all the mediocrity belongs. Okay, let's talk about this game because I didn't watch it. I'm going to be real honest with you kids. I didn't watch it. I, You know what I have right now in front of me? I have this fucking stat sheet shit. Okay, so let's let's go through this. Okay, so... Fucking first quarter, 28 points for the Clippers, 25 points for the Lakers, and 25 for the Lakers in the second, 20 for 20 in third, four, 17 in the fourth. Clippers, 28, 23, 25, 27, second, third, fourth quarter, and uh, third, second, third, and fourth quarter, respectively. Good God, I can't talk. You know what? I'm tired of shit. You know? I, I gotta do a couple more of these videos right now. I gotta talk about my team's losing. Okay? I just saw the fucking, like, I didn't even watch this fucking game. I just saw the stat line. I said, oh my god, you lost to the Clippers. They got nobody. But you know they, you know what the Clippers do got? They got bench players. And they got goddamn bench players. Okay. Lou Williams. Remember Lou? Everybody remembers Lou, the goddamn beautiful three-shooter for the LA Lakers. And we gave him up to, I believe, Houston first. And then he got traded over to the Clippers in that massive deal for CP3. And Gortat, I think Gortat just doesn't get enough love, I feel. You know, he, he just gets, he gets discarded as a center, but let's see. Oh, I mean, they had a lot of cats in these double figure, uh, Mar Mar Marjanovic? Like, really? Marjanovic kind of uh, wasn't fucking double figures? Jesus Christ. I'm looking at this shit for the first time, boys and girls. I'm not going to lie to you. And I'm looking at the squad of the Clippers. <laughs> who do you fucking got? Like, I don't even know who the fuck you got. And this is the thing, if you insert Jimmy Butler into this lineup, I don't really think it changes anything in the West. I really don't. And this is the thing, and I, I'm going to go off on some tangents here, because let's be quite frank and quite honest, um, unless I'm looking at individual performances for this preseason game, who the fuck cares? And we even when we do look at the individual performances, you know, my boy here, Brandon Ingram, didn't really have a great night. You know, 23 minutes on the floor, 10 points, 1 rebound, 2 assists, 1 block, uh, and on A. 30% field goal percentage? Like, Jesus Christ. Hey, you know what? At least his free throws were good. If that counts for anything in the fucking preseason. But it doesn't. And the the downright reality of it was, I think the shots weren't coming in. And the, the crazy thing is, yeah, LeBron James did not play a single minute of this preseason game. Surprise, surprise. And the team is this shit. Surprise, surprise. And to be fair, though, to be fair, no, no Lonzo Ball. Right, I mean, they played all these other guys 20-some full odd minutes, but nobody was able to shoot. Nobody was able to shoot. And, I mean, if you look at this percentage breakdown of all our starting five and their shooting percentages, I won't even name them necessarily. I'll just go by just their field goal percentage. 462, 300, 444, 500, and 250. Yeah, not a great shooting night for the Lakers. And even to the bench, it was sub-500 for nearly all of them. And it really goes to show you that, dude, shooting absolutely matters. Having the right looks absolutely matters. Having the, having that presence, you know, of LeBron James or or Lonzo Ball or like a fucking floor general, you know, I, you know, whatever Rondo couldn't do today, you know, it it just showed, or that whatever that fucking game. And yeah, there's honestly, there's really not much to talk about with this game, is there? I mean, you guys tell me. I'm pretty sure there's that there's that fucking uh, overzealous Lakers fan Lakers fan out there who's gonna correct me in everything I do wrong, right? So please, absolutely, tell tell me what the fuck is wrong. But I'll, I'll tell I'll tell you my opinion right now on this shit right now. I would say, be patient with the Lakers. I've been saying this, boys and girls, for every one of you. Um, it it is extremely exciting that LeBron James is here. I've posted videos on this. I've, you know. Um, tweeted and made all this stupid ass social media shit about LeBron James coming. I'm excited as a Lakers fan, but we have to understand that things like this can take time. Okay, our first month in October, I have a feeling we will be, you know, for, I, honestly, our first month, you know, October, you know, spilling into November. If we can stay above 500 or at 500, I think we're, I think we're good. I think we're making a really good progress uh, with the LeBron James team that he still he needs to configure out. Um, 
and you just have to be patient. You know, with Lakers, I know Lakers fans are, are dying to get to the playoffs. We can't wait. You have to understand, this team has missed the playoffs by a huge margin the last few years. And for us to arrogantly think that we're going to go back, no problem. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I would still say, man, it, it'd be very, it, even an eighth seed would be very difficult in the Western Conference. And so I leave you with this. Just be patient, boys and girls, with the Lakers. If you're a Lakers fan, be patient. Okay? Patience is key here. And by next year, finals. This year, playoffs. This year, playoffs. Next year, final. Okay? And so let's just be patient. And once we get there, we get to be the fucking pretentious dicks that we are as Lakers fans. So let me know what you guys think. Like, uh, follow me at the links in the description below at the Sky Lounge. Uh, link, com uh, like, comment, and subscribe for more daily content. Fucking up my words. Now fuck off.